Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Sparkin' Over Broncos, the show where we spark conversation about our Denver Broncos. I am your host, Gage Madrid. Well, this is a video that I did not anticipate having to make today, nor is one that I take any pleasure in making. At approximately 1.40 this afternoon, local media caught wind that Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy had been arrested by the Arapaho County Sheriff's Department. At the time, Judy was still going through the booking process, so no charges had been made public. A little less than an hour later, the Arapaho County Sheriff's Office released a statement that read, Professional football player Jerry Judy has been arrested by Arapaho County Sheriff's deputies. He is being held at the Arapaho County Jail on charges of second-degree criminal tampering with a domestic violence enhancer, a misdemeanor. He is on a no-bond hold. He is innocent until proven guilty. According to a tweet sent by NFL Network insider Tom Pelissero, the charges against Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy, second-degree criminal tampering, in Colorado means tampering with another person's property with intent to cause injury, inconvenience, or annoyance. The domestic violence enhancer is based on Judy's relationship with the accuser. Judy is on a no-bond hold, meaning he must stay in jail until he sees a judge who can then issue a mandatory protection order or a restraining order. That hearing is likely to take place in the next 24 hours per authorities. This is obviously still an unfolding situation, with many of the details still being kept from the public eye. At this point, all we can do here in Broncos country is let the legal process play out. Out of respect for the victims of this potential situation, I'm going to refrain from throwing my opinion out there, but most importantly, I just hope that nobody was hurt in this incident. Okay, so this is Gage from the future. We do have some new information that came out while I was editing this. These are tweets from Kyle Clark from Nine News, our local NBC affiliate. And it says, Broncos wide receiver Jerry Judy admitted to investigators that he locked his child's mother's wallet and baby formula in his car because she took one of his phones, per documents obtained by writer Kev. She told investigators she just wanted to leave Judy. Judy's girlfriend used a neighbor's phone to call for help. Judy was arrested on suspicion of misdemeanor domestic violence and criminal tampering. So thankfully, based on these reports, it doesn't sound like any physical violence occurred, but regardless, if what Jerry said here is true, he was definitely in the wrong and absolutely was rightfully arrested. But regardless, I just wanted to get this information out since this came out after recording this video. The Broncos are aware of this situation, saying in a statement, We are aware of the matter involving Jerry Judy and are in the process of gathering more information. Obviously, you never like to see a situation like this, especially when it involves someone who plays for your football team. It sounds like we won't hear much more on this until Judy appears in front of a judge, but this is a developing situation, so we will keep you updated with more information as we get it. And for now, this has been another episode of Sparkin' Over Broncos, the show where we spark conversation about our Denver Broncos. I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.